I would like to say that this is not a Honda Prelude, it's a build. It doesn't matter the chassis name, it matters what was done inside, damn it. What's going on guys, it's Art here again and we are at SEMA. It is before day one, so as you guys can see, everything's not set up. However. Big Mike over here with me was uh, happy enough to give us an interview to talk about this beautiful prelude that we have. Um, so I'm kind of going to preface this with um, you hit me up about two years ago, I would say. It was two years ago that Mike hit me up and he gave me an order and he's like, hey, I want to work with you guys. And I think, I think on the retail side, you put an order for about $40,000 of vibrant parts. Now, once you see it, you'll understand. Mike, I'm going to pass the big Mike to you uh, to tell us a little bit about what's going on in this engine bay. Okay, so the idea behind it is, you know, we work together on my car and it's been a, a goal of mine to, to kind of break the stereotypes of these Hondas, Japanese cars in general, but Hondas. And, and I'm tired of people saying, oh, that's really cool for a Honda. That's really cool for a Prelude, right? I, I'm trying to get people to break out of that that thought process and when you look at a setup like this this type of plan of action this type of fabrication this type of, of mapping you do that on anything and you're going to create something memorable right it doesn't matter what the chassis is right so i talked to a couple of people that i've known for a pretty decent amount of time in this particular context my boy mikey who's a fabricator right and the idea is He's a self-taught, very good fabricator, but he's a very quiet, low-key guy. And I said, Mikey, I have an idea to do the first ever that I know of, crazy titanium tarantula turbo manifold. We could do side mount, we could do top mount, we could do bottom mount. I wanna map that out with you, but I wanna do what I know of is the first, just because why not, right? So, I hit you up, aluminum, HD clamps, tubing, bends, pie cuts, V-bends, resonators, mufflers, you name it, after mapping it out to create what we believe or know of and have been told is the first titanium, in this case, bottom mount turbo manifold. I call it the half titanium tarantula. My boy Mikey from MFAB, he worked with me on this and then hot side's all titanium, cold side is all brushed aluminum. And just to give that contrast visually, using these exotic metals, and your kind of standard aluminum and uh, some of the stuff doesn't exist yet so we had to create some bungs and other than that vibrant created already created everything we needed to be able to create something that uh, I mean no one needs this this is just something you want you know um, okay cool I, I thank you for that uh, number two uh, that's like boggling my mind is how do you approach a build like this? So I, I'm, I'm sure the customer dropped off the car, you guys bounced ideas back and forth, but I see a lot of brand new alternator, brand new, like the block looks brand new. I don't know if you, you had that coated or built and I'm sure everything here has been touched. About 87% of everything you're looking at is literally brand new. On my car, it was 100%. It was tumbled, it was anodized, it was zinced, it was powder coated, it was seracoated, it was anodized, it was something. This car, the close, the brake booster, the brake master, the clutch slave, the clutch master, like you said, the alternator, the starter, all of those are brand new. Uh, for no reason other than because a why would you do all this and then have an alternator fail on you that is only four years old but i wanted the fresh metal the block was refreshed um and then everything else is effectively brand new the shifter cable tabs and two or three other of the bolts that are like galley bolts that i didn't want to take out those are the only things that haven't been touched everything else is almost everything else is literally restored slash resto modded slash refreshed um, how do you go about it? It's planning. I love the color. I love the arrow. I noticed that there's touches, the steering wheel, the seats. It's Mugen. Is that the correct pronunciation? I never could figure it out. Uh, yeah, and even even the front like grill piece, like this is amazing. Um, so walk me through it. Um, what do you have here, suspension-wise, body-wise, all the other stuff outside the Vibrant? So most of all that is the customers. 
given to me the way it is and he was happy with it so i said okay i mean tain coilovers they're fine they're not blown why change that and he didn't even he didn't even really want to right the body the paint is is pretty solid he had it redone x amount of years ago it's pretty solid and so i had it paint corrected i had it uh you know little areas which detailers you know detailers are a whole different breed of people about nine hours correcting the paint glazing it and giving it a ceramic top coat um, and other than that it was all the work was done here so that he could have about the most comfortable oem experience inside driving while shifting about a 612 horsepower garrett gtc 660 on e on e85 no that's great and uh i think you did a fantastic job I'm really happy that you came to us um i guess the last question i'm going to ask you here is why did you choose vibrant so for me that answer is simple because you can have a company that makes one or two or all of the products you need but if you don't have a good rapport with them if they rubbed you the wrong way if you just kind of feel like you know they, they don't to me the vibe the customer service uh, all of those things factor in just as much as the product so you know given my history with you guys on previous cars of mine the relationship the the shipping the customer service the the uh, product line it's everything you really need in a relationship so ordering and you guys heard him say order this is, it wasn't free this was these things were ordered right and you have to understand that i think for a lot of the new, the new guys they just sort of be like oh, let me just send an email saying hey i want to do this and and can you just sponsor me and it just doesn't really work that way you know so for me, picking Vibrant's easy because of things like that. The Griffiths, all the brothers, I've known them for years. I've known you for years. And that just makes it so much easier when I say, here is an email with, I need 26 of this unit, one of this, 30 of that, and how much, and you tell me, and we just make it happen. So all of those are the reasons why I've continued to work with Vibrant, and I will continue to do so in the future. Thank you so much for your time, Mike. Um, where can the audience find you? What's your socials? We well, you have a YouTube. I do, yeah. So I have a podcast. Podcast is not really car related though. Podcast is life and mentality and accountability and mindset. That's the Think Bigger podcast. Um, for anything car related, youtube.com slash big mic edition. Um, and Instagram. I don't have Twitter or Snapchat or TikTok, none of those, just Instagram. It's uh, the big mic at the big mic. Keep in touch with me there, and uh, we'll be able to uh, to share with each other the journey of this car, other cars, and my uh, life and mentality side of things, which the podcast is about. Thanks so much, Big Mike. Appreciate everything you've done. I appreciate using us, our parts and uh, supporting us. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.